I will freely admit 2020 has been one of my least favorite years so far, and I'm sure you can relate to that statement. As this pandemic has spread throughout the world, our collective quality of life has plummeted and the grand plans we once had for this year were probably just thrown out the window. The news is jam packed with bad news after bad news. And if I'm being honest, it has me exhausted. So to counteract this feeling, I wanted to take a break from giving first aid advice and create a different kind of video. One that will help you learn a little bit more about first responders, but also probably put a smile on your face. What's up everybody, for those that are new here, my name is Matt, I'm a paramedic, and it is my mission to help provide you with the skills and tools to potentially save a life one day. And if you wanna become a part of the movement, head over to paramedicapproved.com to get your hands on our customized first aid kits so that you can be better prepared for what life throws your way. All right, so a while back, a video popped up in my feed that I just had to click on. Now, if you're an EMT or paramedic, you may have already seen this video, but for those of you that haven't, this is a must watch if you have any interest in EMS. This video was created by a YouTuber by the name of Ginger Billy, and his channel is jam packed with hilarious content that I'm sure you'd all enjoy. But the one video that caught my eye was his video about paramedics and EMTs. He doesn't personally work in EMS, but he seemed to have a deep understanding of what we as first responders have to go through and I could identify with everything he said in the video. So rather than go on and on about it, I figured I'd just show it to you. Take it away, Ginger Billy. Hello, America. Right now, I wanna give a shout out to all y'all EMTs out there. Now by EMTs, I mean emergency medical technicians. There's three levels. You got your basic, your intermediate, then you got your street docs the paramedics. Now they all three serve a very important purpose, and I would have to say that they have the most stressful job in the medical field. Now that ain't taking nothing away from nurses, or doctors, or respiratory therapists, or anybody else, because all their jobs are stressful too. But you see, what sets EMTs apart from all those other people is the fact that those other medical professionals get to work in the stability of a hospital. You see, if you're working in a hospital and somebody codes, well, you got multiple nurses, you got multiple RTs, you got other doctors that can come help you with that patient. EMTs, they got one other person they can rely on, and that's their partner, that's it. And they are literally expected to do the tasks of a nurse, an RT, and a doctor, all while getting paid less than all three of them. Let me just tell you about some things that EMTs and medics have to deal with on a shift-to-shift -shift basis. They have to go into some janky, shady neighborhoods, all right? I'm talking places where cops be like, nah, I can't go in there, they don't, they don't like me in there. But you see, EMTs and medics, they go into them neighborhoods because they know there's somebody in there that needs them. That's what you call having kahunas. When you go in there, you ain't got no weapons or anything to protect yourself, but you going in there to help somebody. EMTs and medics have to deal with a lot of crazy people, both crazy patients and crazy family members. And by crazy, I mean people who are mentally crazy, like old Jim Bob, who's done overdosed on the methamphetamines. Now he's walking around in a trailer park naked, holding a machete. And people who are acting crazy because they just saw a loved one get injured or killed. So the EMT is trying to do their job and treat the patient while dealing with family members and friends who are upset and crying and asking a million questions. And by the way, make sure you call them EMTs or medics. Don't call them ambulance drivers, okay? That's like calling a nurse a bedpan fetcher or a fireman a hose dragger. That makes them real angry. It makes them want to hurt you in a very physical, violent manner. So call them EMTs or medics. Never call them ambulance drivers. Now, a lot of people think that every call an EMT runs is a bad car wreck or a gunshot wound or something really serious and life-threatening. But actually, 80 to 85% of the calls EMTs run, total BS. I'm talking stuff that people don't even need to seek medical treatment for. Like parents calling because their child won't take their ADHD meds. To a woman calling 911 and wanting EMS to come get her because she thought she contracted heart disease when her uncle, who has heart disease, coughed in her face. If you have any medical knowledge at all, you know that you can't catch heart disease from somebody. 
It ain't the flu, it's heart disease. EMTs and medics have to perform tasks in the back of a moving ambulance that are already hard to perform in a still environment. Can you imagine trying to stick an IV or intubate a patient or perform a needle decompression while being bounced around in the back of a moving ambulance? Sounds kind of hard to do, don't it? But EMTs and medics do it like it ain't nothing. And speaking of being bounced around in the back of an ambulance, the ambulance itself is a hollow steel box of death. You have got pressurized oxygen tanks, you got needles, and you are weaving in and out of traffic going 60 miles an hour. So if somebody hits you, you can become a human dartboard. Oh, and EMTs can't get food at a restaurant where you have to wait a while. Because about 99% of the time, you will get a call right after you pay for that food. When you look at the cashier and say, hey, uh, is my food ready? I gotta go. And they'll say, no, nah, it's probably about 10 more minutes. So you just pay for food that you ain't gonna get to eat so that you can go pick this patient up who called 911 because they got a toothache. So to all y'all EMTs and all y'all medics out there, thank y'all for what y'all do. Y'all put up with a lot of BS. Y'all deal with a lot of stressful situations. You see a lot of bad things, but y'all make a difference in this world. And I'm thankful for y'all. God bless y'all. I love you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Thank you, Ginger Billy, for that shout out to all EMTs and paramedics out there. First responders everywhere know all too well how challenging the job can be and we could all use a little appreciation from time to time. If you personally know an EMT or paramedic, be sure to share this video with them because I know they will get a kick out of it. All right, everyone, that does it for today. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button over here so you don't miss any more life-saving advice in the future. And go ahead and check out one of these hand-picked videos on your screen. Take care.